What kind of person is Liz? She's calm, she's open, she's courageous. It's hard not to like Liz. It's hard not to be impressed by Liz. Liz Swift is my mentor. I got to be a member of the very first AP Physics class that Liz taught here at Holy Names. Liz was my AP Calculus and my AP Physics teacher. She had extreme passion for the subject. And I've learned so much from her and I respect her at such a high, high level. What I admire most about her is her devotion and her love of Holy Names and the mission of Holy Names. It has been her life's work. She can be credited with building the Academy into what it is today. As I look at my career uh, here at Holy Names, I really didn't aspire to be an administrator or head of school. That was just, I think, an act of God to bring me back here. And I'm very grateful to those that asked me to teach here, to try some leadership roles, to be a department chair, to coach, to serve as a vice principal, and then ultimately to serve as principal and head of school. I can't even begin to thank them for a life of joy and a life that really felt a sense of purpose. Her leadership to me is one of a kind and rare. Her mind thinks all the time, even about things that haven't happened, I swear. It's as if she had a crystal ball. She has this combination of strategic and tactical that is absolutely necessary. She can see around a corner. Years before the pandemic, there was like the bird flu. We started training for that, like in technology. Oh, just in case we have to be out of school for a couple of days, even working from home. We were just like, this is, why are we wasting all this time on this? And then the pandemic hit and we were kind of ready. And again, Liz Swift. <laughs> a corner that clearly was coming was the notion of resident parking in this part of town. It was a decades-long process to ensure that the Academy had the resources to build that facility. It was really something that was important for the viability of the school. If that thoughtfulness and vision had not happened five years before it was needed, there would have been a lot of things about the school in jeopardy. The parking garage made the school self-sufficient. It really put us in charge of our destiny. Liz was clearly in her element, six stories down, standing in the mud with a hard hat. In order to be able to have that, you have to think ahead and you have to plan ahead. And that happens when you have a leader like Liz Swift. The physics lab is unique among all the classrooms. It has almost an old world feeling to it. And then when you superimpose Mrs. Swift's presence as an instructor and a mentor, it becomes timeless. She made it real and practical. It wasn't just diagrams on the board. As I went on and studied engineering in college, I didn't get that again until probably getting into my junior or senior year in the labs. I think what the exciting thing about education is changes have come you know, is to embrace it. You deal with what's in front of you and you have some wonderful, pleasant surprises and then sometimes you have some surprises you would never have dreamed of. <laughs> Somehow the spirit is the same, that sense of optimism, the sense of being part of something larger than yourself. I think those are very present today. What I would say the essence of this is really the charism of the sisters of the Holy Names, their charism includes so many dimensions, but certainly a strong sense of welcome, hospitality, a commitment to justice, looking at each individual for their gifts and talents and helping them be the best they can be. I feel so much that the sisters' charism resonates so much with my own family values, my experiences, and it was just a tremendous reinforcement of the values that I grew up with. At heart, I believe Liz is an exceptional mother of Holy Names Academy, but a mother that cares about the whole picture. She wants to be sure that they will be able to 
express themselves creatively, academically, spiritually. I have great faith that this will continue, that it stays true to the mission and the charism of the sisters. I mean, that's what creates the unique culture of the school. I'm just so very grateful to be part of this community. It's been a wonderful experience, and I hope it is for all of those that follow me. Her career has been legendary. The school has done a wonderful job of meeting every student that enrolls here where they're at, and then we all go on a journey together. And everybody who's gotten to come back, in some way, shape, or form, we've all been in that journey too. Thank you for 48 incredible years of service, excellence, and visionary leadership.